Welcome to the how-to video for the Decision Strategies Strategy Table tool. Decision Strategies consultants have an average of over 20 years experience in their respective industries. As outside facilitators, we excel at teaching teams to frame their decisions, generate clear alternatives for consideration, and rigorously test these alternatives against a world of risks and uncertainties. If you're interested in speaking directly with a Decision Strategies veteran consultant, then contact us today, www.decisionstrategies.com. To put this tool in context, let us step back and think about the entire decision-making process. Our goal is to make a confident decision. To do so, we must have alignment on what we are setting out to achieve. We must understand what our options are and consider how each option performs in a world of risks. This allows us to choose a strategy that best achieves our goal while also reducing our exposure to risks. The Strategy Table tool is specifically designed to help with this step. The brainstorming and definition of the strategic options. Let's start the how-to. To begin, let's open the Strategy Table tool. I have the full toolbox application installed and can click on the Decision Strategies icon directly on my desktop. If your IT department won't allow the full application, you'll need to save the individual template files to your machine and open them directly. With the toolbox open, I will click on the Launch New Template button and select the Strategy Table tool. We're then prompted to save the file as a macro-enabled workbook. I'll save this as demo.xlsm and save it to my desktop so it's easy to find later. We start on the introduction page. To summarize, this tool is designed to help your team to generate the set of alternatives for further analysis. It does not help you determine which is the best strategy that is done later in the evaluation stage. I'll click the next button, which will take us on to the alternative matrix sheet. In step one, we enter the key decisions that once made will together make up a strategy. I'll write over the examples already in the input cells. Of course, for your project, the decision set will be different. But in this example, let's say that we are looking into the plant size, our target markets under consideration, our available methods for transporting our goods to market, whether or not we will license our technology, and what are our feedstock options. We then scroll down to step two and enter our choices available under each decision. In this example, we're considering a small plant of 100 kilotons a year. We might also consider a 200 kiloton a year plant, or maybe even a large plant of 300 kilotons a year. Our target markets under consideration are North America, South America, or Europe, or Malaysia. Our choices for transportation method are by ship, by rail, or by truck. Our options are straightforward for licensing our technology, either yes we will or no we will not. And for speed stock, we have the option of either an exotic material or perhaps a more abundant material we'll call material B. When the table is complete, with each choice listed for each decision, we scroll down to the next button which will take us to the strategic themes page. Here in step three, we name and describe our strategic themes. Remember that we want to cover as much decision space as possible and make each strategy truly unique. We should push to the point of being uncomfortable without creating a strategy that we wouldn't actually do as a company. For this example, we have four strategic themes. The first one's the go big theme. We define that as big everything, no cost spared. We create the close to home theme. We define that as aggressively pursuing the domestic market. We also have the cautious traveler theme, which is a cost effective approach to participating in the world markets and a status quo theme, which is just the company's current strategy. 
Once you've defined your strategic themes, click the Next button to proceed on to the Strategy Table page. We scroll down to the first grade table where we set how each decision will be made under each strategy. Note that each strategy has been given its own icon. When you right click within the top table, a customized menu allows us to choose which strategy icon we would like to drop into the cells corresponding to the decision choices. Using our example, we'll start with our first strategy, Go Big, in which we said no cost would be spared. We come down to our table and under each strategic decision, we'll make our decision choices. For the Go Big strategy, we'll build a large plant, 300 kilotons a year. We'll target all markets, North America, South America, Europe, and Malaysia. And because we are going to these world markets, our transportation methods may have to be by ship, by rail, and by truck. We will not license our technology, and because we're going big, we'll use our exotic material A for our feedstock option. Coming up to our second strategy, close to home, which we defined as pursuing the domestic market, we'll come down to our table and say, in this case, we'll build a small plant, 100 kilotons a year. We'll target only North America. We will transport our goods by truck. We will license our technology outside of North America, and we'll use our abundant material B for our feedstock option. Our third strategy, cautious traveler, we said it would be a cost-effective approach to participating in world markets. In this strategy, we may build the medium-sized plant. We'll target North America and Europe. We'll transport by ship and by rail. We will not license our technology, and we will again use our abundant material for our feedstock option. Lastly, we have the status quo strategy, and that is our company's current strategy. Under this strategy, we'll build a small plant. We'll target North America and South America, transporting our goods by ship and by truck. We will license our technology and use our abundant material B for our feedstock option. With the strategy table complete, we now scroll down to the sorted table where we'll see our strategies now fully defined by the manner in which each will address the key strategic decisions. The table reads right to left across the row. You see the Go Big strategy is a 300 kiloton a year plant targeting all markets, transportation method of ship, rail, and truck, not licensing technology, and using the exotic feedstock material. The close to home strategy was a 100 kiloton a year plant targeting North America, transportation method of truck, licensing technology, and using the abundant material, and so on for cautious traveler and status quo across their rows. With the help of the strategy table tool, we've now generated true unique alternative strategy approaches. Having these well-defined options will greatly focus the project team's analysis efforts in the evaluation stage, both saving time and also leading to far more coherent body of work. If you're interested in how decision strategies approaches the evaluation stage, please contact us today or visit www.decisionstrategies.com.